So today, the customer complaint we're dealing with is a slow cranking engine. And seeing as how we're rolling into winter, one of the first things we want to check is the condition of the battery. So in order to do that, I am going to hook up my volt amp tester and I am doing what we refer to as an open circuit voltage test which is where I just put a voltmeter on the battery and I look at the state of charge in this case it's 12.2 if this was a fully charged battery I could expect about 12.6 volts but seeing as how there is always some parasitic draw from computers and radios and things as the vehicle sits I'm not too bothered by that what I need to do though in order to test the battery is I'm going to perform a load test on it and this machine is capable of producing a load when I turn this knob and I can regulate the load and if I use a standard testing procedure the load should be about half of the cold cranking amps and this particular battery is 800 cold cranking amps so I'm going to try to induce a load that's about 400 amps and I'm going to want to do that for maybe 15 to 30 seconds and I'm going to watch battery voltage and on a good battery I would expect it to stay about nine and a half volts somewhere around there so when I hook up the amp clamp to measure amperage there's an arrow on the clamp for polarity it'll work in either direction but if the polarity is wrong you're going to get a negative sign in front of your reading and what I'm trying to do is I am going to basically measure the current going into the load so I'm going to hook the clamp up on the positive cable I am going to go ahead and zero my amps and I am going to try to get a load reading of about 400 and you'll notice that the battery has dropped to about seven and a half but I have some connection problems because I'm seeing a little smoke so I'm going to redo my connections and I'm going to hit it again and my battery is about eight and a half seven seven and a half seven three and it's continuing to drop so that's telling me that going into winter this battery is not something that I would want to have in this vehicle so I'm going to do a couple other tests on the vehicle while I'm set up and one of them is I am going to do a starter current draw and in order to do that to make sure the starter is not drawing too much current I'm going to use the same volt tester but I am going to measure the current that goes down to the starter while I'm cranking and to get an accurate measurement I want to make sure that the vehicle doesn't start so I am going to disable the ignition by removing what's referred to as the auto shutdown relay and I'm going to watch the amp gauge while I'm cranking so if you would go ahead and crank the vehicle and I am pulling about 175 amps and I believe that is within specifications but you can hear that the vehicle cranks slow and part of that is the battery connection now the other thing I want to do is I want to make sure that my connections on the battery are good so I'm going to perform what we refer to as a voltage drop test in order to do that I'm just going to use a regular handheld meter I'm going to set it on a volts DC scale and I'm just going to check my meter on the battery and I can do voltage drop testing between the battery post and the cable connection or the battery post and maybe the physical ground of the vehicle or the battery post and the starter on the positive side just depends what I'm looking for and where I'm looking so I'm going to start with a basic ground check and I've cleaned the spot on the engine I'll put the 
black terminal right on the battery post and I will put the red lead over here on a good ground and I'm going to wait till the meter zeroes and when I crank the engine and induce a load ideally I'd like to see zero volts. If I see any voltage that's telling me that it would rather go through the meter than go through the connection which would indicate high resistance in the connection somewhere and in this case it would be the, ca the ground cable to the engine. So let's go ahead and crank it. And I am reading millivolts and it's about 300 and maybe 20 millivolts which is less than a half a volt. So that's probably within specifications. Uh, again, I'd like to see zero and it might be worth cleaning that up, but they say a half a volt or less in most cases. So I can also take this and I can check right at the battery itself between the cable and the terminal. I'll wait for the meter to zero. Go ahead and crank it. And I'm reading one more time, please. I'm reading about in millivolts, probably about the same, 300 millivolts or less. So that connection is probably pretty good. Now I want to check the positive cable to the starter. And I will put the red lead on the positive post. I am going to put the other lead of the meter right on where the battery, the post where the battery cable hooks to the starter. Wait for it to zero, and we'll go ahead and crank that engine. So I'm reading over a half a volt. That was like 650 millivolts, and if I look at that connection, I can actually see the end of the cable looks pretty nasty as far as corrosion. So I certainly want to disconnect that, clean the cable, and then retest.